This morning, as we're going to carry on in our, in our uh, what it looks like to connect with God through all these different ways, and there's so many different ways. Believe me, I'm not going to touch on them all, so please don't be discouraged if I haven't mentioned your connection. But I want to have a look this morning at a group of people who connect with God that we call the ascetic. It's a weird word, like wheelbarrow. It's a, it doesn't mean much, but it, it's so important to understand the ascetic connectors. They are the people that you'll find most comfortable connecting with God in absolute solitude. They just love being on their own, sitting quietly, not having to sing at the top of their voice or quote scripture, but just sitting in the quiet place alone with God where they find God and where God comes to life. They're most at ease when they are completely isolated. We think, what's the matter with them? They think, what's the matter with you? (laughs) They love just being isolated away in those quiet places where there's no distractions. It can be quiet as a lamb, quiet as a lamb, and they're at ease. For them, being alone and with God is the most beautiful experience. Because of this, they connect with God in the absolute simplicity of their faith. They don't need to know the mysteries, the revelations. They don't need to be able to quote scripture dance like David danced. They just need to sit quietly in God's presence. And there they find that delight. They don't desire the fanciful, but instead they simply just treasure a quiet life. For an ascetic, Jesus is their absolute hero. And they read the stories of his decisions to isolate himself for 40 days. They're like, whoa. 40 days, no dinner to cook, no washing to put on the line, no gardens to weed, just 40 days to contemplate and love Jesus. Alone in the wilderness where he drew them close and close to God, not in the busy streets of Jerusalem, but in the wilderness where he took his disciples and he just said, sit down where he sat by a well and the disciples were too hungry. He said, you go and have a feed, I'm okay here. He said, you go on, just leave me here. He just sat in darkness on those all-night watches, enjoying God's presence, where he fathomed out the direction he would take, the followers he would call, all in quietness. Or how he walked alone while while allowing others to be busy around him, he remained at peace, the Prince of Peace, just knowing the presence of God in those quiet moments. When an ascetic faces a crisis, they are the first ones that will retreat to the secret place, where they draw into Jesus, just like Jesus did in the Garden of Gethsemane. Facing a crisis doesn't mean working it out immediately. Sometimes it just means... I just need to be alone. I just need to sit down with Jesus for a while. Because there those real decisions are made that build up the courage to face the day. Ascetics know how to hold firm to their own convictions in the face of opposition and crisis. They aren't persuaded by the crowd because they know what it is to connect with God without the crowd. And and they're strict when it comes to protecting this unique way. We often try to to engage them. We we invite them along to every worship ministry or, or every parade that happens, thinking that they just need to join people. And yet for them, that's not what they want. The last thing they want to do is join the party. When the truth be known... They couldn't think of anything worse but just to be still and know God, to know his presence, to experience his comfort, his care 
and his love without a word being spoken. And in it they find the energy there to push on and face the day. This, this humble, we would call it even a humble lifestyle, this humble engagement really appeals to them in a way that they, they want nothing more than to have this as the foundation of their faith. They want the people around them to know that they don't desire the complicated, busy, <laughs> in-your-face sort of life. The flat-out, because it just drains them. They're just exhausted <laughs> in that sort of engagement. The ascetics have learnt the art of being totally content with what they have. They don't need anything more. And with that, to be full of thankfulness and, and gratitude, free from the cravings of everyone else. And when, when you understand them in this way, when you fully appreciate ascetics, you soon see how, how God, in their journey, they are so comfortable as they continue to just be alone with him. The question is, does this sound like you? Or, or even more than that, would you even consider engaging with God like this? If you say yes to this, then I say take the initiative and prepare yourself for even more because no one can connect with God this way unless they do it intentionally. Unless you set aside time to be an ascetic. You see, the key to being an ascetic and connecting with God through a determined decision of solitude and quietness and complete humility is to make that time to do it. It's just not going to happen any other way. Turn off the TV, close the curtains, and just sit. Go out into your garden and just sit. Go to the park. And just sit. You don't have to go there to think anything. Just go there to be with God. How? By just learning the art of experiencing times of being with God alone in the stillness of time. An, an absolute stillness of time. Don't have an agenda. Free yourself from all distractions. And just learn what it is to sit in the sound of silence, just bathe in his presence. In this way, you're learning what the ascetics have always known, that God is in the stillness and the quietness in that soft breeze and the stillness of his time. If you are an ascetic, let me encourage you that there is a place for you in the community of God, and we can learn from you. We can learn to slow down by being with you. There's so much you can teach the community of God. And so now take your experience and connect with God in the next level and become a watcher of the night for the body of Christ. Become someone who will just watch and take that to prayer. Not someone that needs to be known, not someone that needs to be heard, just someone that watches and prays. And with that challenge, take with you into those quiet times the agenda to pray like Daniel until the breakthrough of your prayer comes. Join an intimate prayer group. Take those prayer requests to the next level in your time with God. And then when you're in that favorite place, let your heart connect with God as an intercessory prayer warrior without saying a word. Just let your mind pray. Just pray. Just speak to God up here. Learn the art of finding the purpose of what it means to communicate with God in your mind. It's an art. But the reward awaits you as you see your prayers being answered in the lives of those who you're interceding for. And then just smile. Just smile. Another thing, if you want to grow and get even bigger in this pathway, take the time to go on a three-day retreat. I did this once. Drove me crazy. I'm not an aesthetic. 
The Franciscan monasteries in Auckland or all over the country, the Baptists have a list of these different retreats that you can go on and you can just be in quietness. You can book yourself in. Anyone can. And go on those retreats and experience a weekend where nothing is said. In this way, you'll experience something you'll never forget. You'll see how God draws you into his side and into your thoughts you will connect. Because this is the life and the connection point that ascetics know all too well. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, for someone who's got a bumblebee in them, this sounds crazy. But I know, Lord, that you engage with us all in different ways. And, and, and may, may we intentionally take the time to sit in quietness and just bathe in your presence without a word being spoken, but just to take in the sounds around us, the smells that are all throughout creation, and just to allow ourselves to experience you as the source of life and to enjoy that. I pray for those that are ascetics, that they never feel bullied into, into being busy, that they have so much to teach us, and that we would take the time to listen, that we would all be community together. In Jesus' name, amen.